new product time. New, 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 new. <laughs> but before we get to the new, we have some news. Phil yeah, has some, some updates. Uh, in case you've been looking at our product photos, you'll probably notice we have some of the new quarters coming out. The U.S. Mint has Sally Ride, Maya Angelou, uh, and more. And we have um, lots of different coins as they are released. Um, these are the women coins. American women. American women coins. Cool. That are out, and uh, we're very happy to add these. Speaking of, um, we just got all of our new certificates to be a woman business enterprise certification, a woman-owned small business certification, um, a WBE certification. This is a woman-owned business enterprise. So lots of folks are like, I want to support women-owned businesses. Well, we are official. We renew every year. It's really complicated and hard. It is like harder it's to do. It's not like this. you get anything. Like yeah. there's no tax benefits no. or money. It's just like. We're just now on a list of companies that happen to be women owned. So yeah. if you want to support a company that's woman owned, that is us. And then we also, because this is on the bottom of our page, uh, we have this on the we're minority and women owned business enterprise. Yes. And you probably notice there's a new little logo at the bottom with an M on it. What is that? Let's see what McDonald's? it is. McDonald's? No. Well, no. When you uh, click the M, it goes to Mastodon. Now, this is a uh, federated service. So um, we thought back in 2017 that Twitter wasn't going to make it. Uh, kind of weird. Um, so we had an account since since then. And we haven't really done too much with it, but now is probably a really good time. More so, people are Yeah, tuning. you can find us Boosting. over there. Yeah, and we have that little link on the bottom of all our pages. And uh, we'll be doing more with these federated spaces, spaces, the open indie web. And in case you're wondering, uh, we're a silver sponsor. Um, it's important to us because this is still currently a uh, free service. They're trying to keep the protocols good for everybody. So we wanted to support it. So that's some of the things that go into Adafruit. And uh, when you spend money with us, that's what we do with the cash. So speaking of, um, Lady Ada, we have got some new products. Let's kick it with some new products. Okay, we've got a bunch of the Snap Action Blocks. Um, okay, so this is a three to nine uh, version, and um, I'll go through all of them real fast, and we'll describe them all uh, on the overhead. Yeah, and so then it's just a, three a to little nine. reminder, um, yep. you can also, uh, anytime you go to the pages, we have a selection that you can see all of them in one spot yeah. on each page. It's nice. So, okay, so okay. that was so that was a three, three to nine. nine. This yeah. is the two to six. Um, two input, six output, you know, one to three times two. This is a one to five um, splitter. Uh, and then those were like the ones that go like one to N, and then these are one to one. So this is six in, six out, but it's like one to one. Uh, we also have the three in, three out, one to one version. And then um, finally, we've got the version that you can snap together. That's cool. Yes, this is the, you know it's one to one, and it's like individual, and they and they can click together to make um, Voltron. Voltron, or it's just large snap block. You can see on the end end that there's a little. Uh, and then what are bit. these things? Those are the buckle blocks that let you um, connect oh. multiple of these together if you want to like mount them. Oh, that's cool. Um, so these are little buckle blocks. Okay, so now let's show them on the overhead because they're. Okay. Yeah, so it's three to nine. Three to nine, two, two to, to five, six. Two to six. One to five. One, five. one to one. Yeah, one to one times six. Yeah. One to one times three. And then, these. and then the one each individuals. Okay. Okay, so let's show these off. So, um, yeah, they're, you know, they're, this this is the only one that's not clear. I like the clear ones. I couldn't get this one in clear, but the rest of them come in this nice uh, clear design, which is cool because you can, um, you know, you can actually see how it works. You take your wire, uh, you can use stranded or solid core. Uh, you flip this open, and then you can stick the wire in, and you can even see um, the little clip, and then you snap it down. Um, these are good for, you know, many amps. They're distribution blocks. Uh, they do have little mounting holes on them as well. So what I like about these is they're color coded. So, if, you know, this one wire goes to these three. So this is good for a fan out. You know, there's people who are, are always people who are like, oh, I'm doing like a NeoPixel thing or motor power and I need um, distribution wiring, like for a lot of servos or a lot of motors or a lot of LEDs. Um, you'll do the job really well where you have like, you know, power, ground and data and then you have um, three outputs each. And then 
Um, if you don't need something that big, there's the this version, which like I said, is this is three to nine and this is two to six. So again, one input, three output. Um, this is good for like power and ground. I like how it's red and blue even. So you, know, you can get your power, sign uh, power and uh, ground, um, no data signal, but still you could use this for like power fan out. Um, and then this is also good if you have a lot of signals that you want or power that you want to distribute. So one input and then it's connected to all five of these outputs. Uh, so these are the fan out versions. And then there's just the like, okay, I want to just, um, you know, connect two uh, signals together. So these only go one to one. They're not connected between each other. So red goes to red, blue goes to blue, and that's it. And then we've got the um, clear version that's kind of small and cute. Uh, again, good for just uh, jumpering um, signals together. And... Um, you know, if you want to make your own custom blocks, so this is the version. Let's see if I can line these up. So this is the, yeah, so here goes so this. You can, whoops, you can slide these together and then they, they connect and then you can make, you know, as many as you want. Um, so if you only want like two, so it's like, you know, it's, it's a little bit larger than the ones that are all in one, but you can of course uh, create any number you wish in a row. And then finally, the buckle blocks, as I mentioned, um, these are good because you can uh, use these to snap together. So let's see, it doesn't work with that version, but it does work with this. So it works with the, um, ooh, these are the only thing is these are hard to put on, which is good. Hold on. Let's see how these, they definitely go on because I got them before, but it's just hard to do with my hands out. I don't want to break this either. Oop, there you go. One side. And then... Yeah. Woo! Okay, tough, but firm. And um, this is what it looks like. You know, you can connect these side by side, and then you get the uh, mounting holes in the center um, because these don't have mounting holes the way the distribution fan out blocks do. So, um, you know, mounting holes, you also, of course, tape these down. Uh, you get two buckles per. So, you know, a wide range of these snap action blocks. Um, they're similar to the Wago blocks. They're not official, you know, Wago style, but uh, I do like the colorful arrangement, which I think is worth uh, investigating, trying out this version. Okay, dokie. Uh, next up, some hardware. Yeah, we have another feather from Unexpected Maker. This is the ESP32-S2 Neo. Um, it went to the matrix, it came back out, and it's got LEDs. It's got a, a cute 5x5 grid of Neo pixels in the center. So um, really fun if you want to have like little scrolling text. 5x5, as people know from the micro bit, is enough to have little uh, scrolling text messages or a miniature graph or little, little icons. We just did a project, Liz did, where it's a weather meter, but it uses little um, five by five icons for like snow or sun or wind. Um, so you can actually do quite a bit with just um, showing the like, display or graphics on a five by five RGB matrix. Um, there's also a STEM IQT port. Of course, it's ESP32 S2, so it's got Wi Fi. Um, it can run CircuitPython, it can run Arduino, you can battery power it. You know, it's just a fun, got little, little bling going on there. Um, which I dig. And then there's a, it looks like there's even an extra NeoPixel to the side as well. So um, you can use one for indication and one for a display. Okay, the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Aid, our community, our customers, our team, and everyone who helps make this thing go is... A little MOSFET motor stemma. Um, so we are trying to have a couple little helper add-on boards. Um, we, especially in the forums, we see people who um, get stuck trying to build basic electronic projects that you know require a breadboard but they're still you know even though they sound simple they're kind of complicated so a lot of people want to say control a solenoid or a motor just turn it on or off or turn a fan on or off here's your biggest fan it's a oh, it's oh, a oh, small oh, fan oh, but oh. it's a it's a nice fan oh, it's big. um and you know when you connect to especially a motor or a solenoid um you need to have your power transistor and sometimes you have uh, you need to have a pull up or a pull down or an inline, and then you also have to have your kickback uh, protection diode. And a lot of people like get the diode wrong, or they forget the diode and they fry out their microcontroller board because the the power supply ends up um, spiking. 
and it's kind of a downer. So we thought, like, let's make a little add-on board that is, you know, solder-free, great for use with a Circuit Playground Express or a micro bit or any microcontroller board, really, and just makes it really easy for you to turn on or off um, a load, you know, an inductive load up to one amp, one and a half amps continuous. You can peak it like, you know, three amps. Um, and it can do 20 volts logic up to, or 30 volts power. And of course that you can have it switch a 30 volt power signal with a three volt microcontroller line. So that's, that's also kind of nice. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's a MOSFET, so it's separated logic and power. So here's uh, a little demo. I can just show off how. You're going to show the fan live. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a fan. All right. Um, so it uses the Stemma, not Stemma QT, but the original Stemma connector, which is a JSTPH with ground power and signal in. Uh, and it, you can always use the, the breakout boards here if you want to use it on a breadboard, but for a lot of people, this might be nice. It's solder free and also it means the wiring is done for you. Uh, you have a good wired connection. Um, if power is good, the green LED is on. And then these are um, uh, non-screw terminal blocks. So to release or insert, you push down, I'm using a screwdriver, but you can also you know, use a pen. Um, and then you can insert wires in and release to have a nice strong connection. And these are the really good uh, WAGO um, uh, SMT terminals. So they're, they're nice and strong. They don't, uh, they're not brittle at all. We had some before that were brittle, but these are um, really nice ones. And then on the other side, um, you, you know, I have the alligator clip version just to make it um, easy to connect to my circuit playground. And then on um, pin A1, what I have is just the blink sketch, you know, with the uh, pin logic going high and low. And you can see that when the signal is on, you see the red LED, so that's good for debugging. And then on the opposite side, you see it just turns on this fan, or it's a high power LED, or it's a solenoid, whatever you wish. Um, I just wanted to make something that was only a couple bucks that made it really easy for people to do these kinds of projects and don't have to worry about, you know, the kickback diode, about a really well um, specced MOSFET. This is a nice, powerful one. I think it's the uh, Alpha Omega 3401, which is a, which is a nice um, high quality end channel FET and uh, plenty of debugging output to make it really easy to tell if your signal and power are good. So that's the star of the show. All right. I'm a big fan. Yeah, and uh, this kicks off our OnlyFans segment. So okay, um, that is new products. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll be back throughout the week and more. Um, this is the last one of the year we'll be getting this video out so there might be a little bit of overlap between 2022 and 2023 but we are back and more see you all later thanks everybody